what's up how y'all doing welcome back to another video i am down at the beach chilling just got down here look at that look at that view that's where i'm about to go i'll show you it's a beautiful day down here i wanted to come out here and do a video sit in the sun get some vitamin d relax look at this Look at this view. It's probably like 75, maybe 73 today, but the sun is blazing. What's up, Flamingo fam? How y'all doing? Welcome back to another video. I am down at the beach. It's a beautiful day down here. I am looking at the water. It is so pretty, you guys. The sun is just glistening off of this water. The reflection is beautiful. It's a little bit breezy, so hopefully the wind is not too noisy and too loud. The birds might be loud, but there's nothing I can do about that is what it is. And today's video, guys, is really just going to be kind of like an update, a life update, what's been going on with me and how things are going. So if you're interested in hearing about some life updates, then keep watching. So you want to see the beach? Let's do this. Let's, let's give you a panoramic view of what this is what I'm looking at. Isn't it beautiful? So the beach is over that way in front of me now. And I don't know, maybe we'll walk over there. But for now, this is where we're sitting. This is a happening spot. The sun is perfect lighting, it's good. And I'm ready for this. All right, so let's get into this video. It's a beautiful day out here, first of all, let me just say that. So it's kind of like a life update kind of video. And um, with that said let's get right into this let's do some life updates update on a video i did a video about um, some abandoned cats in my neighborhood the cats that were um, spraying in my yard and it had a very foul smell and i was not amused with it by any means so i called the humane society they told me if i can confine the cat um then they would come out and pick it up for free blah blah, blah yada 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 and so this is what happened I did befriend this cat. We started feeding the cat. Um, we started buying cat food. We started feeding the cat. And lo and behold, we have now, I wouldn't say become attached, but we feel for this cat, okay? And we don't want the cat to go to the Humane Society. We don't want to um, turn the cat over to the Humane Society, fearing that um, the cat might be euthanized or something like that and then that would really make me feel like shit so I don't want to do that after befriending the cat and gaining the cat's trust and all of that no I don't want to do that to this poor cat so we have befriended the cat we are feeding the cat it is an outdoor cat because I did get the number um, off of the video which the other video I'll link it up above the abandoned cat video and um, I'll link it up above so you guys can watch that so you know what I'm talking about but there were two abandoned cats, okay? So I went down to this house that was for sale in my neighborhood and I recorded the phone number that the woman left on the window on a note. And um, I ended up texting her the other day, yesterday or the day before, and telling, you know, asking her questions about these cats. One cat is an all black cat with yellow eyes. Um, she is very friendly and she is literally coming to my door and meow 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 to get our attention she is just befriended everybody in the house I don't want to turn this cat over to the Humane Society in fear of the cat will be euthanized um, after gaining our trust do you know what I'm saying like I think that's just a cruel thing to do and I'm not sure what the Humane Society is going to do so it is what it is um, we are not sure i personally don't want a cat now does my brother and my sister-in-law want a cat i don't know but um we'll see what happens anyway i did find out they there's two cats one is a tabby cat and like gray striped and then there's this one the black cat with miss kitty with the yellow eyes the tabby cat his name is uh stinker i guess and the black cat her name is literally miss kitty and i have been calling her kitty kitty this whole time so anyway we started feeding her befriending her yesterday we made her a makeshift shelter because it was raining so bad over here yesterday that you know it did not it was like non-stop rain from like 11 o'clock in the afternoon till about seven or eight o'clock last night and it was like 
so annoying all the rain but part of living in Florida anyway we made her a shelter before she seriously got rained on and had nowhere to go and no shelter we did find out from the previous owners that this is what happened there was an older gentleman that lived down the street from me and he became too he's elderly so he could not take care of these cats anymore and because he was um, moved into a senior living home so he couldn't in a nursing home he could not obviously he couldn't take the cats he couldn't care for the cats so the cats were left behind they were outdoor cats anyway they were never indoor cats so for that I don't feel like guilty about or anything so she's used to Miss Kitty is used to surviving outside she has her claws she's we provided her with shelter she's good she's okay now, stinker the other one we don't see very often like periodically he'll come in our yard but we don't see him he's not friendly and I guess the, the old the owner well the 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 daughter of this older gentleman that went into the nursing home told me yesterday that um, these cats have pretty much been running around in the neighborhood since they were kittens and so this other cat, this tabby cat, Mr. Stinker, does not even really come by us at all. He pays us no attention. But Miss Kitty, she's another story. She is legit sitting in my windowsill. She's meowing. She's trying to get our attention. I think she's grown very fond of my brother because <laughs> he's the one up like super early in the morning, get ready, leaving for work. And he feeds her and stuff like that. So um, I think they've adopted a cat. They just don't know it yet. That's what I'm going to go with. I'm not a cat person, but I won't let the animal suffer, if you know what I mean. But I'm not really a cat person. Anyway, so that's the update on the cat. The cat is safe. The cat is still in my yard. She is hanging out. She gets fed every day um, very well, I might add. And she has, I took an, like a, I think it's an 18-gallon container. And um, with the lid, those plastic containers are tote. And I cut out, my sister-in-law and I cut out a hole so the cat could crawl in and out of. And it has a lid on it and everything. So she has, we put blankets in there. We put towels and stuff like that in there so the cat can be comfortable. Um, because one morning we did spot the cat just like curled up in a ball, you guys, laying in the sand in my backyard sleeping. So, you know, it pulls at your heartstrings a little bit. So we wanted to, that was yesterday morning. So then we made the shelter for the cat so the cat doesn't have to um, sleep like that anymore. But she is an outdoor cat. She's not an indoor cat, but she sure does try to get in my house. She sure does. Anyway, so that's the update on the cat. She's good. It's a female cat. There is a male cat. He's roaming around. He doesn't really want in our attention the way the female cat does. And she's good. Now, um, is my brother and my sister-in-law going to end up adopting her at the end of the day after the, all of this in a year when they move out or we move or whatever happens? I don't know. <laughs> I guess you have to stay tuned to find out what happens with Miss Kitty. That is her name. Um, all right. Other life updates. Uh, I'm I, still looking for a job. I have not landed the job of my dreams yet. Um, I keep applying. Um, and I'm hopeful on a few positions, so fingers crossed for that. Um, the law of attraction, I firmly believe that what you think um, is your reality. And I think I will have a job um, here fairly quickly. So that's going to happen for me, I have no doubt. Something about Florida I wanted to talk about. Florida. So if you, let me just say this, if you're moving to Florida and you have allergies, even if you don't have allergies, you might get allergies. Now here's what's happening. So I have allergies. I've known this and every spring um, I get allergies to, you know, um, trees and pollen, just the grass and everything that is um, being pollinated, right? Everything. I, I get some allergies. It's not really severe, but I get them. Mind you, last year, you guys, it was so severe. I was in the stinking emergency room. It was so bad. Because let me explain. Pollen in Florida is like, it's like the thickness, like right now I can feel like the scratchiness in my throat um, because I haven't had my yet medicine. I haven't had my medicine yet this morning, so I can feel some scratchiness in my throat. I need to run to Walmart and I need to pick up some medication. And it's honestly just like a nasal spray that I use. I can't even pronounce it. It's a generic Walmart nasal spray. Um, and once I go get it, then maybe I'll put a picture of it in here. 
that let me just say that I have allergies I have known this for years um, I am an allergy sufferer but I did not know how bad it was going to be once I moved down here and it is shocking how thick the pollen is and it's all over your cars it's all over it's just all over everything okay like and it's hard if you are an allergy sufferer to have this beautiful weather like right now it's like 73 degrees maybe 75 if that I don't even think so but it's just a beautiful day with the sun shining and everything but it's hard to have your windows open without running the AC just because you're letting all that pollen into your house and if you have allergies like it is like it's hell okay and this year I have learned to start I started early I started a few weeks ago because the pollen is starting so I didn't let it get like full-fledged like in full bloom before I started taking medication this year I've already called my doctor I've called in my prescriptions I'm waiting for them to um, get back to me on that but and I here's the kicker I had to call some in for my husband so Ray is does not have allergies back home he's never had allergies he's fine he never really complained of allergies and he's always been fine so we get down here and uh, Two weeks about uh, two weeks ago now he thinks he thought he had a cold and he thought he's had this cold now for two weeks and I'm like honey it's not a cold anymore it's allergies you need to accept the fact that you have some allergies now that we live in Florida because the pollen in trees and the pollen is so thick on like trees and grass and just everything right now it is so bad you guys like in Florida Florida is especially like southern Florida this it's a state where like there's always something um, it's like always springtime pretty much like there's always something blooming there's always like pollen and stuff in the air but some um, times of the year are worse than others so like I'm gonna say what mid January or February beginning fit January through like <laughs> June even that whole span is like a big-time allergy season to where you can really really if you suffer you are going to be suffering super bad like the last year allergies were so bad for me like I said you guys I was at the doctor's office like in the emergency room then after that ended up with an upper respiratory infection so it was pretty bad so this year I have gotten ahead of it I went to the store I bought some nasal spray already and um, I'm trying to convince Ray to use it because I'm like you don't have a cold you have allergies this is what's happening your body can develop allergies even like when you're older you know and you live in Florida now you live in a different climate a whole different area of the country so you have developed allergies and it's just because the pollen is so thick you touch your car handle to open the door and then you tickle your nose or something rub your nose or rub an eye it's over it's over for the rest of the day so allergies big time down here right now from like January to like I'm gonna say at least May June it's gonna be bad maybe like the beginning of June from middle of January possibly so probably about end of May allergies are going to be super bad and I'm just trying to stay ahead of it I'm gonna to head to Walmart um, after I leave here and I'm going to go pick up the allergy medicine and that stuff is not cheap you guys so I called some in from the doctor's office but I don't know how long that's gonna take and I can't risk like going without my medication like allergy it's just a nasal spray but I can't risk going without it for a couple days because then I'll be so sick um, so and I want to pick some up for husband also so I'm gonna do um, but it's like eight dollars for a little tiny like an ounce of an allergy you know nasal spray it's ridiculous but like I said, I'm trying to get mine and his called in from our doctor so that we can go get the prescriptions and then there go pick them up because we're going to need these for the next three months, four months. So yeah, guys, um, if you have allergies, if you are an allergy sufferer, just know if you come to Florida between the months of January and like May, you will need to have some sort of medication on you because it is ridiculous how thick the pollen is. I've never seen it so thick. I'm from Wisconsin. Yeah, we, we go through a spring, but nothing like this, nothing at all. So those are my updates and just something I wanted to talk to you guys about. I'm down at the beach. I'm just kind of chilling. I'm looking at the water. I'm getting my vitamin D. It's warm. It's like, it might be 75. It might be, but it's just so beautiful. I think I'm going to walk you around a little bit. You want to go walk around a little bit? You want to go see the beach? We're going to go look at the beach so you guys can see what I see and how beautiful it is and why I love it. Okay. Okay. Go see if we can find some wild parrots. There are wild parrots here.
there's like 20 or 30, like a flock of like 20 or 30 wild parrots here. This is the playground. They have little pavilions here where you can sit and um, eat and have little picnics. Love this. Look how pretty, guys. Isn't this beautiful? Water's very clear. You can hear the seagulls. So they do have, like I said, um, picnic tables where you can come out here and picnic. They have um, charcoal grills where you can grill. And they have a launching area. It's over here. Love this. This is not rock I'm walking on, by the way. It's all shells. There is more pavilions over there. So you can cook out, picnic. There's the bathroom right there. They have like a lot of, I don't know if these are crows. They, to me, it looks like a crow. They're black. They look like crows to me. But here's the launching area. And over here we have the band shell where they have um, the bands when they have them down here. People just love coming down here, checking it out. It's a beautiful little beach. Let's get you over to the beach area. Well, the sand is not white like Clearwater Beach, nor like Siesta Key Beach. That was beautiful when we went there, you guys, a couple weekends ago. Oh my God, it was so pretty. See a bunch of people out here. All day long, there's people out here. So we got a volleyball area. We got some crows that just want to be noisy. He's noisy. The volleyball area. He's jamming. I'm digging deep into the musical archives to give you some of the greatest rock tracks ever. Only on WZIG 104.1 FM, Wednesdays at 6. I'm going to cut around all these people. Dang it. Got to walk in the sand. Got my tennis shoes on. Oh, it smells fishy over here. They're feeding the birds. They're not supposed to feed the birds. Because it causes a problem when people actually come and sit down here. For like the locals. Damn, that guy is... Oh, that music. It's low tide. All these holes. The crab holes. Got little crabs on this beach, lots of them. Here you go. Isn't this beautiful? That over there, straight ahead over that way, is Fred Howard Park. I've been there before also in some of my other videos. It's a beautiful area. Fred Howard Park, that's a man-made beach over there, but it's pretty. If you guys want me to take you over there and show you, get out and walk around, show you around, leave a comment down below. And I'll do that on another day, maybe Friday. This is so pretty. There's an island out there. I don't know if you guys can see it. See it? A little island out there. This man's music. Like seriously, he's blasting <laughs> a little radio, but it's kind of annoying. It sounds creepy. I don't know what kind of music that is. But this is my little beach, y'all. And it's pretty famous for sunsets. So let's walk down a little ways. Get away from this man and his music. What is the deal? This is annoying. Ooh, I just seen crab go in.
of people out here right now. The birds, they aren't even scared because they're so used to people walking around here. So pretty, isn't it? It's beautiful. This is what attracted me to this area when I used to come visit when I was a vacationer. This is why I moved down here. I moved in this area. The small local beaches. They are I have to be here now though because and it's what time is it? Eleven thirty. Because if I wait any longer, like in the day, then there's going to be tourists and everybody down here and it just gets so packed like I won't even be able to find a place to park. But I love our little local beach. It's so pretty. There are the birds just chilling. They don't even care. They do not. They are not afraid of people. You're not supposed to feed these birds because let me tell you about these birds. These birds will like, I don't know about on this beach, but they do get pretty brave. Like Clearwater Beach, they will come and literally take food away from you. And we went to that beach over there, my sister-in-law and I, the other day, we went to Fred Howard Park, and the birds were digging in, these, these girls had brought treats and stuff, you know, like snacks for their children, and the birds were literally the black ones, like the crow looking birds, I don't know if they're called crows, I'm just, that's what it reminds me of. But they were literally getting in this woman's bag trying to get the snacks out of the bag that she had brought for her children. It's like they smell it. She had them in baggies and stuff and they still, these birds don't care. They are not afraid. They're not afraid of people. They will come and like get right up on you and try to take your food if you're eating anything. They have no fear. And sometimes dolphins do come here to feed, but it's been a good year since I've seen, over a year since I've seen any dolphins down here. So, my son is going to come visit y'all. He's going to be here in a couple weeks, like March 13th, so you're going to see my son in the videos. I'm so excited. Now, my daughter-in-law, my grandbabies, we'll see what happens. I, I would love to get a day with them and um, be able to hang out, but I don't know if that's going to even be possible just because they have so much planned and going to all the parks and all that stuff, and I'm not doing all of that. With, i got to figure out how though I can see my grandbabies. And, guys, there's lots of parking. Look at that, Vermont. Maryland, Pennsylvania. Michigan. Most of these cars are not from here, obviously. New Hampshire, Missouri, Pennsylvania. What's that one? New York. New York. Mm. I don't know what that one says. Look at that, Wisconsin. That one was Wisconsin. More people. There's so many out of state plates in one parking lot. That's what I mean. Everybody's here. This parking out is free though. You don't have to pay to park here, but you do have to pay to park at um, Fred Howard Park, which is $5 all day though. And for $5 for a cute beach like Fred Howard Park, that's worth it. The struggle is real, y'all. I just left the pharmacy picking up my prescription. I told you them allergies ain't no joke down here. If you got allergies, be, be prepared must be ready <laughs> like this ain't no joke this is what I use prescription strength 
And I'm going to go to Walmart now and get my husband the non-prescription one because he doesn't have a prescription for it, which he needs to call the doctor, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. But let's go pick up the one that I use from Walmart that works very well. I am well. back from Walmart. This is what I got. This is what I picked up from my husband. I got the, um, the prescription strength one from my doctor because I've had it before. But my husband really does need to call and get his own prescription. They won't let me do it for him. So he needs to make time to do that. But this is making him feel better. It's just a generic non-drowsy allergy relief brand Equate from Walmart. So if you're coming down here, you have allergies, try this guys. It'll help. It's definitely helping me and I have pretty severe allergies um, during this time of year. Especially in Florida. But it just started to rain. Um, I was going to show you. I was telling you I made we made a um, shelter for kitty kitty. Well, there it is. We made her a little shelter so she could hang out in there. It has the top on there so we could take it off. But I don't know where she is, and it's raining out here. Kitty kitty, kitty kitty. I don't know where she's at. Maybe she went to go find Stinker, her friend just started raining guys kitty kitty come here it's raining come here kitty kitty there she is that's miss kitty i know she's getting wet she hasn't quite figured out that that is she she ran under there she hasn't quite figured out that that is her new home like i don't know i keep calling it a kennel i used to have a dog and um we still have the little dog here we i call it a kennel She's under there hiding. Kitty, kitty! She's like, heck no, I ain't coming out. It's raining. It's her way of staying dry until she figures out she has this other home. You seen Kitty, kitty. She ran for shelter. She's hiding under the shed because she doesn't realize that this um, uh, kennel, I guess I call it, um, down there we made for her yesterday is hers that she can go in there and hide from the rain. So... Um, if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you like seeing the beach and walking around, leave a comment down below. I can go to another beach and walk around, get actually out of the car, walk around, show it to you guys if you want. Um, if you want to know about cost and parking and stuff like that, because everywhere you go down here, there is a fee for parking at the beaches. So let me know. Um, and I can check out a whole bunch of beaches and parks and stuff like that. Just leave it in the comments below if you like this type of video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.